Welcome sa zip9.com. This video ay tutuloy natin yung ating series about direct square variation. No? Uh, in this video, ang gagawin natin is magsusolve ulit tayo ng mga problems involving uh, direct square variation. So yung ating first problem, we have uh, y varies directly as the square of x. If y equals 9 halves when x equals 3, find y when x equals 4. So uh, dito we have... Uh, y equals kx squared kasi direct square variation siya so we have y equals 9 halves or 9 over 2 when x equals 3 no? so 3 yung x natin but we have to square it so meaning 9 over 2 equals 3 squared is 9 times k is 9k no? and gusto ko balik rin yung 9k tsaka 9 halves para nasa kaliwa yung aking uh, unknown. No? So usually mas comfortable ako na nasa kaliwa yung aking unknown. But of course you can you can do otherwise. No? Yung nasa kanan pwede naman. Tama naman yan. And para makuha ko yung kaya I'll divide both sides by 9. No? Pero pag nag-divide ako ng 9 dito mas mahirap siya. So dividing by 9 is the same as multiplying by 1 over 9. So, I'll just multiply both sides by 1 over 9. Okay. So, I hope naintindihan nyo, no? A, a number, di ba sabi natin if we divide the number by a by another number, for example, a over b, it's the same as a times 1 over b. It's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, no? So, ito yun, ito yung ginagawa natin dito. So, 1 over 9 times 9, makakancel yan, maging... 1 times 1 times k. No? So, magiging k na lang yan. And here, we can also cancel. So, 1 times 1 is 1, yung ating numerator. And 2 times 1 equals 2, yung ating denominator. No? So, nakuha na natin yung value ng k, which is our uh, constant of uh, variation. Meaning, pwede na natin i-substitute itong uh, 1 half dito sa original equation natin. So, ang original equation natin magiging y equals 1 half times x squared. No? Ito na yung ating constant of uh, variation. And our task is to find the value of y when x equals 4. So, y equals 1 half times pag x equals 4. 4 squared. No? So, magiging 1 half times. What is 4 squared? It's 16. And 1 half of 16 is 8. No? So, y equals 8. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Kasi ito yung tinatanong. Find y when x equals 4. Okay. So, now for the second problem, we have uh, a varies directly as the square of b. If b equals 20, when a equals 2, find a when b is equal to 8b. Okay. So, again, we have a direct square variation. So, a varies directly as the square of b, meaning a equals k times b squared. No? And a is equal to 2 when b is 20. So k times 20 squared. No? And 2 equals 20 squared is 400. No? Times k is 400. Okay. And again, katulad ganun, na gusto ko siyang baliktar rin para yung aking ano ay nasa kaliwa. 400k equals 2. And I divide both sides by 400. No, 400k divided by 400 is equal to 2 over 400. So, magka-cancel to. Matitira na lang k. And I can reduce this to lowest terms by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So, that's 1 over 200. And this is the value of my uh, k or constant of variation. So the this equation, pwede nating palitan itong equation na to. So, oh, sorry. Pwede nating i-substitute yung value ng k dito, dito sa k. So we have a equals 1 over 200 times b squared. No? And we want to find the value of 
a when b is equal to 80. So a equals 1 over 200 times 80 squared. No? Ang may gagawin tayo dito para hindi tayo masyadong malaki yung number natin kasi 80 squared is 6,400. Eh, pwede naman. Hindi naman ganun kalaki. So, magiging uh, 1 over 200 times 6,400. No? Kasi ang 6, 80 squared is 6,400. Pwede tayo mag-cancel ng dalawang zeros. So, magiging 64 over 2 na lang. No? Kasi over 1 yan. This is over 1. 1 times 64 is 64. And 2 times 1 is 2. So our a, uh, the value of a is 32 no? when uh, x or when b is equal to 80. So ito yung ating pinakasagot. Okay, that's it. I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Uh, I think we will have one more video no? on uh, uh, direct square variation and siguro doon ay uh, tignan natin yung graph nung nung uh, direct square variation. I think most of the problems are almost the same. No? Siguro, mas magiging complicated to yung mga problems dito sa variation later, no? Kung mga combined na, no? Okay, so that's it. I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Gusto ko yung invite sa sipnayan.com, yung ating website, at kung kayo ay nanonood sa YouTube. Uh, gusto ko yung invite sa and kung nanonood kayo, makikita nyo dito sa baba ng video nyo, meron tayong Facebook page, no? Pwede nyo puntahan nyo at i-like nyo at i-follow nyo, no? Uh, Every day, uh, halos uh, nag-upload ako ng at least one video, no? And uh, most of the time, uh, palagi tayong may bagong video sa Sipnayan. So, invite ko rin kayo mag-subscribe. Okay, so I hope uh, marami kayo natutunan, no? Uh, so, bye-bye nyo. Asip na yan. I'll see you in the next tutorial.